Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 838, <laughs> keeping track. And the topic today is about masculine man and macho man. They're very different. I want to explain why and why you need to know. I should say why I encourage you to know if you're own benefit, whether you're a man or a woman, because it can benefit both of you. Before I jump into all of that, let me introduce myself. And if you haven't seen me before, I'll explain why I do these and then you'll have a clue. Um, my name is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't seen that already around the broadcast. I am an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert, and best-selling author of the book 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. I'm a big fan of the book because I wrote it, um, and so I'm going to promote that a little bit and put that in the back end of the broadcast. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs my work with women and inspires why I do what I do, which is these talks every day now I've done for almost three years called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. So actually December 2016, so getting on for three years now. These talks started coming out of the um, need, the requirement, the urge to speak up and speak out in service to women and inspiring women to be more feminine and leadership and a lot of things like that. And my early talks were more, um, I won't say they were rants, but they certainly were um, missives. They were strong, like, do this, do this, do this sort of thing. Um, they weren't misguided, but they weren't necessarily the cleanest. So as the talks have gone on, they've gotten more civilized <laughs> and I've been more prepared. Hence, I now have an environment I shoot in every day because it's easier to do that than just catching a video wherever where I am on the road. But also the topics have gotten deeper as I've gone through. So today I want to talk about the masculine versus macho man because there's some big differences that you may not be aware of. And what started this actually was a conversation I had with a friend of mine two days ago, I think it was. And he was talking about something about masculine men. And I said, well, the thing is, it was about um, the challenge. Or it was, actually, it was a meme he posted about um, how men face challenge. And what I became aware of is there's a distinct difference between masculine men and macho men about challenge. And I'm using this in a certain way. And this is one, one sliver of what else, what else is out there. So masculine men challenge other men. And this is the thing about challenge. Masculine men challenge other men to become better men. Macho men challenge other men to make themselves feel better. I'm going to sit with that for a second. So again, masculine men challenge other men to become better men. Macho men challenge other men so they can feel better. That's kind of how I said it, and that's roughly what I mean. Because the thing about it that's the biggest distinction between the masculine versus, versus macho man is a macho man is driven by ego and self, selfish motives, simply put. Controlling, I want to win, my way, the highway, I'm taking the world on. And in some ways, it's been depicted in the romantic context as the bad boy. Not a good idea, ultimately. It sounds good at the beginning, but the truth is what you're going to do is, what you can do as a woman is you're going to be um, left behind by the man like that, because he's always about taking, taking, taking what he wants, and he's off again. The masculine man oftentimes has been portrayed as the nice guy because his focus is service, support, and expression into the world to contribute. And I talked about this yesterday about purpose being pu about purpose driven. And that was another epiphany on my part. It was something that just came through me talking about how, just to recap briefly, what I said yesterday, since speaking about purpose, is that if I remember how I said it, ooh, I remember now. I was saying something on the lines of your purpose is I said it's some of the lines of your purpose is not something you do your purpose is your way of life like how you live your life is your purpose and I talked I went in depth about that and did a whole quite an amazing download it came through in that talk so I hope that was helpful so if you didn't see it I'll go back and watch that broadcast so in this context about masculine versus macho man which to me is an extension because a purpose driven man that is driven to deliver something to the world that's positive is a masculine man. A macho man's purpose is very self-invested. That's why I said about selfishness, ego, my way, the highway type energetic. In the context of um, extremely old TV shows, um, it was, um, oh, what was the name of the show? It was a normal near show actually back in the day. So I was thinking about two different shows now. There was a show in England which was a copy of that. So all in the family was over here with, um, oh, it'll come back to me. 
It was Edith was the wife. Husband was Al. No. Anyway, I was trying to give you illustrations of the macho man because the macho man back in was really the man who was the leader. Was the um, um, head of the house was the breadwinner, taking care of things, getting things done, coming home, and had a very small centric life in a way because it was all based upon proving himself to be the best in, around. Like by having the nicest house, the nicest car, the most behaved kids, that sort of model was the thing of the 50s. And so that was what drove most men. Most men at that time, I believe, and I'm not sure if it's true or not, but my feeling is most men were not driven by a calling or a purpose or a mission that put them into a place of doing something bigger. Because to be honest, many men who are married have bought into a more, li well, careful I say this. Hmm. This is, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to go, and I saw something coming, I was like, that may not be a good choice. Let me back up a second. Put in reverse back up. Okay. Let me try that one again. Because <laughs> that was going to go down a path. A lot of men have sold themselves out to be secure in a safety of a job and a family that may or may not be the highest calling. That's true. Yes, that's true. I'm checking that out. There are also men who have chosen relationships that stretch them beyond their comfort zones into a place where they're much greater men than they used to be because they decided to commit to a relationship that would take them to the next level of their expression. That's a rarity nowadays. That was a rarity. It's more common nowadays, thankfully. And frankly, any relationship um, of value... No, I'm going to carefully say that one. I'm watching myself bumping into some things I may not, be, may not want to cover in this broadcast because it could get really messy. <laughs> so let me see if I want to arrange that one. So first of all, what I said was true. So... A masculine man will choose a relationship that will stretch him to be more than he was. Because again, a, ma a masculine man, well, actually, let me throw it back to the challenge again. A masculine man will challenge other men to be better men. He'll only do that because he's going to do the same thing to himself. A masculine man will challenge himself to be a better man. In order to, let me qualify this, I'm watching, I'm watching the masculine macho competing in my head here. The masculine man will challenge himself to be a better man in order to express his love, his compassion, his gifts in the world in greater ways. A macho man will challenge himself to be a better man only so he can get more stuff. Again, ego-driven, pulling, taking, um, controlling others around him. So again, macho, masculine, very different. Masculine is not about control. Masculine is about freedom. Macho is macho's about control, not about freedom. So opposites there. The challenge in this arena, modern arena is there are many men out there who pretend to be, and this is one thing I've been quite seen quite, seen quite a lot, is they act so they appear to be what you would think of be a masculine man. But when you start getting to watch their behaviors and you take time to observe, you'll see certain nuances, behaviors that are so selfish, you realize clearly that's not that they're not being masculine at all. The simplest way to describe it, one of my teachers put it this way, and I love the way he described it, was a, a macho man is really limited in, limited in perspective. It's a codependent model because a macho man needs other people to make them feel good. A masculine man is in, in much more in, in independence and interdependence because he doesn't need anybody else. A masculine man can be solo. A masculine man can be expressing himself fully and enjoying life and being fully free without needing to be in any relationship. And a woman who wants an incredibly expansive, growing relationship would seek out a masculine man, just to be clear. There was another piece. So a definition, yes. So masculine, macho man is ego-driven, selfish, head-based, no, don't care about anybody else. Masculine man is more, the way my teacher put it, was more spine and heart driven, meaning stands up for people, stands true, strong in himself, and is there to serve and contribute and make a difference in the world that's positive and uplifting. So spine and heart are the two components that make a masculine man using, I mean, speaking metaphorically, by the way, I don't mean physically, because all men have spines and hearts and heads. But the, mach the macho man focuses on the head too much. The masculine man focuses on the heart and spine in terms of strength, direction, and care and compassion. So there's a little difference there. So I'm giving you like pieces of the puzzle to be able to differentiate so you know if you look at your own Either for men looking in the mirror at yourself, for women looking around for men you've already known in the world, or men you're looking around for other men you know in the world. I know plenty of men out in the world who are very macho driven. I can see it. It's almost, it's almost telegraphed nowadays because I've been in this work long enough to see where I was off track and where I've gotten on track. I believe for myself I'm more in the masculine culture more than ever because I'm so driven to serve and make a difference. 
And the funny thing was, I was actually out of alignment and I was serving because the thing was, um, hmm, I say this. I've been in the personal growth industry for 30 something years. And from very early on in the seminars, I used to start volunteering to learn more about how things work behind the scenes. And I also love volunteering, period. At Agape, my spiritual center, where I was, every, where I am every Sunday, I've been serving since the second week I went there. That wasn't necessarily masculine heart driven. It was just serving because I was heart, I was being driven from my heart. Let, let me, okay, let me, I'm just expressing this as I say it. So let me qualify this a bit more. I may have, so masculine, macho, there may be a third piece here. <laughs> okay, so using the, using the metaphors of head, heart, and spine. <laughs> macho man, Still, be, still stuck in his head, just to be clear. Masculine man is spine-driven, direction, purpose, focus, service. Heart can be involved as well. There's also, I'll put it this way, the feminine man, because I was that myself when I was in past relationships. Heart-driven, but no direction, no focus, and no power in my strength of being. I was actually very subservient to the women I was going out with. Yes, I was. That's the reason why I've done this work and been on this path and teach this enough now, because I've been on both sides of the fence, so to speak. Um, Yes. <laughs> so in this conversation, the development of the masculine man can come from either the ego, egotistical man shedding his ego-driven ways to come into a place that's more driven to serve, and also from a feminine man to step into his masculine, which I did, although I wasn't really feminine, I just wasn't aligned with my masculine. And then the man in his masculine heart is a man who really cares greater than himself. A masculine man would sacrifice himself for the greater good. A macho man would sacrifice himself for the egotistical um, martyr badge. If that makes sense? So both types could sacrifice themselves for, for, the, for us or other people, but a masculine man would sac sacrifice himself because he knows that would be the best thing to do to serve the greater good. Excuse me. The macho man might, might sacrifice himself so the world would look at him as being a hero. Again, attachment to ego. As effed up as that sounds, because it is kind of messed up, there is a different difference between the masculine and the macho, masculine and macho. So I want to try to give you some key points to watch out for, because ladies, if you're looking to date and be in a relationship with a really conscious, healthy man, you want to find a masculine-hearted, purpose-driven, caring, compassionate, serving man, rather than a ego-driven, um, showing off like, look what I got, look at my gold watch and my nice car and my nice house which might draw you in initially. But the thing is, you're only going to be there so he can look good. And that's the way it tends to work with egotistical men. And I know, as I said, plenty of men who are on both sides of that camp, both sides of that fence, so to speak, even my spiritual communities, even the seminars I take. And what I'm aware of is that we haven't yet shed all of that ego-driven style. This is the big stuff that's coming. And I've been talking this for a while now. There's a change coming. It's not, 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 not Nosferatu, but I'm talking about how there's definitely some changes coming, which is basically our culture is about to shift. Well, it's shifting now, but it hasn't caught up to speed yet. With the Me Too expression and the Time's Up movements, and a lot more besides that, there's a shift coming where the way men have run the world, which has been macho-driven, is ending. Ending, period. I'm watching the egos driving the United States, the United Kingdom, in... Um, Well, in Russia, in Hungary, Turkey, so many countries where the macho is driving the country and the country is being split up because of it. Every country where the macho is in leadership is called in division because the macho has to be seen to be the person who's in charge. And if you are serving the greater good, you become more anonymous to a degree. A masculine man running the country would be an ideal, but that's not here yet. So. This cup, well, I'm going to say, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just like it shows up, we're going to talk about it. So this coming election, 2020 in America and Brexit in the United Kingdom, so I'm investing in both, <laughs> isn't the final result for sure. What's, ha what's happening in both places, there's so much ego attachment to winning that it's not a healthy outcome for either country. So where we're going, and it's going to be maybe 10, 20 years before it happens, unfortunately, Sooner, I hope. I mean, hopefully my message is reaching more people and more people are joining in. 
is we're changing something because there's a cultural shift required for the future of our planet, for the future of all, for all the planet, because one is women are required, please, ladies, to step into leadership more and more. Um, now, some men, are, some men are making room, some men are not. So you may have to take charge um, with or without permission. So part of that shift is, ladies, find men who are in the masculine to team up with. Find men in the masculine who will work with you. Find men in the masculine who will support you. Men in, who are the, in the macho-ism, the men who are macho, who are macho, um, machoistic, no, what's the word? Machismo, who think they run the show, they're the ones you want to avoid. Pure and simple. Um, in relationship, in romance, in work, in, in making a difference on the planet, all that stuff. Um, I didn't plan on ending up in this position, but I guess I'm going to be talking about this for a moment. I know there's a change coming. I've felt it. I've been feeling it for a long time now. And I know that part of it's going to require a wake-up call on a global scale. And we're no, and I don't know how it's going to happen yet. Whether it's the environmental transformation that's going to cause it, whether it's going to be cultural transformation that's going to cause it, I don't know. But I know there's a shift coming. A lot of us are waking up to that fact. So the more of us that wake up, the better. How that happens, I'm hoping to contribute to that. I, at least if I wake up one more person... Besides myself, that's a good start. So if we can all do that, the better we can be as a global community. But be aware that we're going through some darkness first. As I said before, what's happening with the macho-driven countries, that's the darkness ahead that's not resolved yet. Oh, Netanyahu in Israel, another one. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of machismo running countries and it's not running them healthy, in healthy ways. We have some shifts that need to happen. We have some cultural changes that need to come forward. I'll be careful what I say. Um, I know it's going to change. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know exactly how it's going to change. I just have a feeling and a pull and a desire to help shift that culture. So I'm going to help move the needle over into compassion, into caring, into shifting towards a conscious, awakened community with men and women side by side in equal, equal space. That's my ultimate work, calling, direction. These Facebook Lives contribute to that, I hope. Um, hmm. All right, so I'm going to leave this with some questions because I don't have the answers. All, I don't have all your answers, sorry. <laughs> but I do invite you to um, consider for yourself. How do you want to be in the world yourself? Whether you're a woman or a man. If you're a man, how do you want to stand up in the world? How do you want to express? How do you want to serve? How do you contribute? If you're a woman, how do you want to do that as well? And what, sort of, and, and what men do you know that you want to bring to the conversation? Because this is a big conversation that I'm just like peeling back to the top layer of. So I'm not going to give any answers beyond this because I don't have any answers beyond this to be transparent. But I know this is something I need to talk about and I didn't plan on going here because this was spirit going. So that's what's out. Um, that's what's up for me today. Okay, so that's my download for today. Um, I appreciate you watching. I'm not sure what no, no, that's it. There's, it's like my mind just went click. That's enough. All right. So in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, <laughs> they usually have a certain deliver delivery on the end of them. And they also have lots of links and invitations at the back end. I don't have any for today because this topic didn't go there. So if you want to find out what I offer normally, go back and watch yesterday's broadcast. That actually was a good one about purpose and, and vocation direction stuff. It was a good distillation of some teaching I didn't realize I had. So watch this broadcast for all the links. I'm not putting any today, so there. But in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, as I said, they're usually more succinct and more together than this one is. This one was kind of, for me, meandering. That may be my experience. Maybe you got a lot of value from it. I hope you did. I do this every day, or I do these talks every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook right here, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. You can watch the replays on my business page on Facebook as well as on my YouTube channel. And on Facebook... My business page is barryselby.author. Please like my page and you can watch them all there. Alternatively, you can go onto my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby. All my social media is Barry Selby. And um, on there is a playlist. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, by the way. On there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine where all these live. It's easy to find them there, by the way. But you'll get more comments and interaction on the replays on Facebook if you want to see people's comments. That, I think, is that. Um, I don't have any links today. 
All right, I'm going to leave it alone. I appreciate you watching. I thank you for being with me as always. And again, I do invite your responses, thoughts, questions, ideas that spring off this topic. And I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. We'll see what comes up for that. I thank you for being with me as always. And uh, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.